Hi guys and welcome back to Rustic Cottage Studio. If you're new here, welcome. Welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. <laughs> so today's video is going to be a little different than what we're used to because I need to get some work done. I need to get some products made and I need to get things in the shop because I know I've been promising you guys and you know as well as I know it hasn't happened yet. But I am working on it. I promise now it's time to get started and i thought i would bring you guys along to do a little behind the scenes and create and we're going to start with we are making some car coasters all right guys so i've got to get halloween stuff in oh my gosh it is september it is time it is actually past time so let's go ahead and get some car coasters made follow along As you can see, when I put these together, these are actually not big enough. I want them so big that when I put them on here, you'll be able to see the design on the outside or outside of the, outside of the, can you see that? No, you can't. Outside of the circle. So off to the computer, let's fix it. As you can see, I already had the designs created, but now I have to go in and make these bigger. So what size, I had them set for 274 by 274. So I'm actually going to change it, pull it back up. And you can always change it by sliding this back and forth. I like to go to position and down at advance, it tells you exactly what size it is. And I am going to actually set it. So I wanna set it for three inches. That should set it straight. Yes, it keeps it the same. And I have to repeat the same process for all of them. I wonder, let's try if I can do three at a time. Yes, sometimes you can and sometimes it will not let you. So basically I just put a circle in here from the elements and shapes here. And then I pulled in my design that I had already created and i'm going to do the same with these i don't know but i will check it out will it let me it just might yes and i do want to reposition it because i want it to be centered on the paper and i probably need to do the same here all right that's center where is my middle there it is this is not necessary, it's just something that I do. Now that I have it set for three inches, which should be plenty because if I'm not mistaken, these coasters are two. So let's get this downloaded. These coasters are two and three quarters. So three should be plenty. Open it up. I'm going to slide my little box over here, double click, there it goes, and then double click, there we go, now file, print, I have my Epson set up, I have a setting already set up for sublimation, so it's going to print it out exactly the way it should be, I want to scale mine to fit, and that might have been a problem, Make sure when you're printing something out, when you especially when you have it a certain size, that you make sure you scale it to 100% because otherwise the size that you set it at is not going to be the size that it comes out as. You get these printed and I will meet you guys back over at the table. While we're waiting, let's go ahead and lint roll. So hold on to one end, roll, turn it, roll. Basically what you're doing is you're making sure that there is no lint, dust, or anything else that could possibly ruin your design. Separate these.
when you're ready to put it in your heat press, whichever one you have, set your temperature for 385 for 40 seconds. And did I cut these big enough? I did. All right. I like to cut mine to where you can fold them over. So when it's time to flip them, this tape does not stick to the neoprene very well. But ta-da! I have my heat press set to automatic. So we're gonna put it in there. Let it work its magic. Whee! When you can see the image through, ooh, these just peel right off. When you can see the image through it, that means the dead well. I am going to take these, pull them to the side. And let them cool off. Now, make sure. I always double check to make sure that your image is on top. I'm going to turn it this way this time. Pop it in. The only thing I didn't do that I probably should have before making these was to give it a preheat for 10 seconds. But outside of that, how stinking cute. These designs are going into my studio or into my shop. Speaking of studio, I got the materials. So guess what that means soon? My studio is going to get started and I'm going to be able to start moving in there. I won't have it completely done. For a while but my goal is to get it done enough that i can start recording in there so one step closer yay i'm so happy now let's get these bad boys packaged up Keep a watch out, guys. This is all fixing to go into the store. Gotta take some pictures. Until next time, have a blessed day.